You're listening to the Conduit to Can Do It podcast, the show that shares riveting real life stories curated from startup entrepreneurs and innovators to Fortune 100 corporate leaders who found ways to navigate their path to success. I'm your host, Dennis G. Shaver, founder of Conduit to Can Do It. And you'll hear firsthand accounts how our special guests have turned their bottlenecks into breakthroughs and triumphs, sharing their insider methods, strategies, and roadmaps that will inspire powerful transformations. Hello, listeners. Today's topic is how to make a pitch that sticks. You probably heard this saying, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. How true. In the world of getting new products to the market, there is no more profound way to make a first impression than with a short and engaging pitch, commonly referred to as the elevator pitch. The elevator pitch is an introduction or offer that is accurately and compellingly given within roughly the same amount of time as an elevator ride. The principles of making a powerful first impression rest on three fundamental principles. And those are be clear, be concise, and be competent. So how can these simple yet powerful principles help you make an award-winning pitch that sticks? One is be clear. For example, within roughly the amount of time it would take someone to ride an elevator to their floor your elevator pitch should be designed to effectively communicate your identity, who you are, what you're about, what you do, and what works and helps so that it will create value for the customer, the listener. They need to understand that. Two, be concise. Time is money, we all know that. If you're talking to a CEO of a company or a potential purchasing agent for, for, from a big company, chances are you have a matter of seconds to inspire and convince them to listen to more of what you have to say and also remember you. The content of your pitch should be well crafted, clear, and concise. In practice, start out by writing down the 10 attributes that you believe best define you and what you have to offer in the form of value. These may include your experiences, your accomplishments, benefits, features, value, and your goals of what you have to offer short sound bites that colorfully present you and what you have to offer in a way that makes sense and it makes it easy for the listener to remember you and make you stand out. Then narrow down this list to only the most telling information that sheds the most light and value to your listener. Three, be competent. Now, this, this doesn't mean you need to have a big ego or anything like that, but just be confident. In this super compressed window of time, you have a a very short time to make an impression, your mannerisms matter. Stand tall, have a firm grip when you shake their hand and smile, and remember to speak slowly yet with confidence, fully enunciating your words, and remember the pause point punch philosophy to make your points stand out and be remembered. The results of your pitch will ultimately depend on how you often practice it, refine it, and then align it to deliver significant value to your listener. The main objective is to be professional and conversational while providing enough information to encourage the person to whom you are speaking to want to ask further questions for clarification. It can't be one way. Consciously adding attention getters and religiously adhering to principles of engaging the listener with significant value is key. The great news here is is that I always like to give examples uh, to show you how these principles work. So what I'd like to do here is I'd like to give you an example of a working mom. That's right, a working mom who worked with the inventor of a specific product. And she did an elevator pitch in front of probably uh, about 50 millennials. And they were giving pitches on very high tech type of products. And she gave a, a pitch on a very simple product. Uh, uh, it's a it's a bed sheet for a bed and she won a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar award so to learn more about this if you want to get an example of that and also uh, connect with me and collaborate on how you can also craft your pitch reach out to me at www.mindtomarketstrategy.com that's www.mindtomarketstrategy.com i look forward to hearing from you thanks 
There you go. What an amazing talk on a very important topic. It's been my pleasure to share this episode with you, and this is just one example of how you can get one step closer to becoming a conduit to your can do it. Remember, no matter what you're embarking on in life and business, it's really about how you respond or react to everyday situations, and this can help you navigate your way to success. From this day forward, if it is to be, it really starts with you to choose to make the rest of your life the very best of your life. Thanks to each of you for listening today. And if you haven't had a chance to leave a review on our podcast, we greatly appreciate that as well. That's it for today. And I look forward to our next episode. Till then, onward and upward.